I hate marketing, but um, I need to grow my business. So I built this Twitter bot nine days ago. And uh, it already has 700 followers and it grew the revenue by uh, 56. 56%. So in the, this video, we're going to talk about how I find this marketing tools idea so I can grow my business without having to ever do marketing. I'm also going to show you how that Twitter bot thing work, how I built it, the tech stack and all the good stuff. We're going to talk about the launch strategy and how I got the word out. And finally, we're going to talk about how that little thing is related to a real software business and how much revenue it has generated. Hey, shut the up! I built a software called IndiePage. It's a link in bio tool for anyone who wants to showcase their portfolio and it's mostly targeting entrepreneurs or anyone who is trying to make money on the internet. Users can connect their Stripe account so that they can showcase their revenue. And um, this, for instance, is my IndiePage. Those are the startups I built and the revenue is verified with Stripe. There are over 10,000 people registered on the app and uh, the revenue has been doing well. It's been making anywhere from $1,000 to $4,000 per month and um, I believe there will be much more solo entrepreneurs so I want to grow that piece of software. But I have a problem. I hate marketing. It feels like work. So um, I'm trying to find ways to do marketing without doing marketing. It's basically building a tiny tool or a tiny feature that promotes your main application. Since I launched this uh, leaderboard a couple months ago, it's basically a web page that ranks entrepreneurs based on their revenue and it's been doing pretty well. This is the spike of revenue when I launched the leaderboard. So um, I'm just trying to reproduce the strategy and launch more free tools. And I'm constantly looking for some small features that I can launch and potentially would go viral. And I remember when I started the journey, I was motivated by seeing other entrepreneurs making money and sharing it on Twitter. And this is how I got this idea of creating a bot that's going to share entrepreneurs' revenue on Twitter in real time. All right, first, let me show you how the product works. So this is the indie page revenue bot. And uh, I think I just got reminded that I need to verify the page, but Twitter makes it pretty tricky because I have to purchase a new phone number. Wait, there are three actions that the Twitter bot is doing. First, it's going to tweet every time someone receives a payment. It's also going to tag the maker of that startups and add a link to the startup. The goal with this tweet is to give a little extra exposure to the project by adding a link to their website. And hopefully the maker of the project could retweet that, which would also give a little extra exposure for IndiePage. Every Monday, the revenue bot is going to tweet the weekly leaderboard. It's gonna take all the payment data from last Monday to Sunday, and it's gonna aggregate all that and make a beautiful leaderboard just like this. Of course, it's going to do the exact same thing at the end of the month, and I coded a little feature so that it pins that tweets at the top of the page. And the goal here is, again, to give a little bit of extra exposure to some projects, as well as gamifying the experience of working hard and trying to make money on the internet. And uh, just for the record, I added this web page, which uh, has a history of all the tweets that have been made by the bots. Let's talk about the elephant in the room, the tech stack. That's it. That's all I'm using. All right, joke aside, here it is. I'm using Next.js API or uh, Route, whatever this is they call it. I have three, one for the daily tweets, one for the weekly leaderboard, and one for the monthly leaderboard. And to trigger those API endpoints, I'm using Versal Chrome Jobs feature, which is super handy and super easy to use. And since I am shipping fast, I am not using TypeScript and I am using MongoDB for the database. I have a cluster that stores all the payments from Stripe as well as the tweets. And since there's a little bit of user interface for the front end, like the leaderboard, this is what I use. Tailwind CSS and Daisy UI. This is a simple UI component library that I use for all my projects and I love it. I never design any mockups or in Figma, I jump straight into the code and I keep iterating until it looks right. Should we talk about the code? Since the Twitter bot needs to have access to some payments and Stripe accounts, I added the code directly inside of the indie page code. The first thing I did was to create an account on X developers. And uh, since I already had another account and uh, Twitter will force you to pay $100 a month if you can create a second project, then I recreated a new account. And that's when things got complicated because your Twitter developer account is linked to your Twitter account and Twitter will not let you switch between developers accounts. So I had to log out of my current Twitter account, log in to my IndiePage account so that I can finally log in to my IndiePage Twitter developer account. 
Once I get, once I finally got my developer account set up, I created a new project and I just went to keys and token and uh, copy pasted all those uh, secret and, and bare tokens and, and everything inside of the code. So first I've created a library of helper functions for uh, interacting with the Twitter API. So I have my Twitter clients and I have a few functions that uh, will convert uh, a big tweet into a thread, for instance. And then there are the three API endpoints. So the first one is the daily tweets, which is uh, simply going to first check if the request is made by my uh, cron job. I only allow Versal to trigger the cron job. So this is where my app is hosted. And Versal makes it super easy. I just added this code inside of the versal.js file. It's going to trigger those three API endpoints, the daily tweet every three hours, the monthly leaderboard once a month, and the weekly leaderboard once a week. That's all I had to do to make this recurring. All right, now back to the daily tweet. So after this little checkup here, it's going to start executing the function. First, it's going to find the most recent tweet the bot has been sharing. It's going to find the user ID of the person who've been featured so that it does not retweet again the same person over and over. Because there are some guys who are making $1,000 a month and there are some guys who are making $100,000 a month. And I want to make it fair for everyone so it's tweeting a little bit about everyone. That's why here I'm fetching the most recent payment in Stripe and I'm excluding the recent users who've been featured. And then it's going to find information about that user, the, the name of the startup, the name of the user, the username, and it's going to create this line of text that will be the contents of the tweet. To post to the Twitter API, it's very simple with the client. I just need to do Twitter client.v2.tweet with the text. And if the tweet went well, I'm going to store that in the database. So I'm not going to retweet that same person over and over. And that's pretty much it for the daily tweets. All right, and now for the monthly and the weekly leaderboard, those are two separate functions, but the code is very similar. It does the same uh, background check to make sure that it's actually my server who is making the request. Then it's going to do this big aggregate function where it's going to fetch all the startups in the database who have Stripe verified payments. It's going to calculate their revenue and it's going to rank them based on who made the most money. And uh, I cannot really share what's inside of this big function because there's some, like, again, some guys behind this camera who are trying to wreck my app and I don't want to make their life easier. And then for each of the top 50 startups is going to create one line of text with the name of the person, the name of the startups and how much revenue they made in the past uh, couple days. And since there are over 50 lines of text and Twitter only allow 280 characters per tweet, I'm using this line of code to split this big chunk of text into a thread. And just like before, I'm using this function to post on Twitter, save the tweets in the database. And uh, if it's the monthly leaderboard, I'm uh, pinning it to the indie page revenue bot Twitter page. Let's talk about marketing and revenue. But first I, I have to start with this part. I am lucky to have created an audience of over 100,000 people on Twitter, so everything is a little easier for me. And I am also a lazy person, so all I did to promote this Twitter bot was to tweet one time. And um, it was enough to get around 300 followers on the tweet, and at the moment, it's getting around 10 to 20 extra followers per day. So here is what I would do if I had to restart again with zero followers. Okay, number one, I would verify the Twitter page. Because it's about payments and building trust, it's important to have the checkmark badge. And at the moment, Twitter is pushing the content of verified accounts, so it's also great to get more exposure. Second, I would try to launch that bot everywhere. Hacker News, Indie Hacker, Reddit, Twitter, Product Hunt, I would give a shot for every single platform until hopefully one goes viral. And I wrote tutorials about how to get the most out of those platforms in my blog. If you want, there must be a link somewhere below. And finally, I would partner with power users. Users of my software are already making money online, but, but who are not retired yet. And I would just have a normal conversation with them. Show them the feature, show them what are the benefits, ask them if they have any feedback and hope that they will spread the word out. All right. And uh, the final part would be about revenue, I guess. All right, so that is that is the, the Stripe account for this business. Here, this is the revenue for this year in total. There was a big spike around May because this is when I launched the, the leaderboard, these the, this things that people loved. All right, now I have zoomed in a little bit on the revenue. These are the last nine days of revenue and this is the launch day. And the, the overall revenue is up by at least 50%. And what I like to see here is there are less zero days. So it means there is 
uh, some ongoing flow, some ongoing traffic, new people discovering the app every day. And I believe it's because, well, now IndiePage is discoverable on Twitter. And since it's tagging the makers of the startup that just made money, it somehow brings a little bit of awareness so more people get to discover IndiePage and it's slowly increasing the revenue. But when this video comes out, you can check my IndiePage. Uh, you will see my real-time revenue for IndiePage and see uh, whether there was a spike or it was a total flop. But I have noticed something, never ship, never know. All right, I hope you just ship it.